We'll start with the audio. Hello. Audio. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Can you all hear us? Can the world hear us? Can the world hear us? Oh, yeah, they, we can't hear them, though. So. No. <laughs> no this is very different for me. <laughs> You know, because the camera's not on yet, yeah. if you talk in your characters' voices, huh. then it's like they're here. Whoa. In what? the room with us. No, no way. Jinx. I'm right here. <laughs> you hear me? Perfect. Perfect. Audio is good, Mimi? Mimi, you can't see it. She's off camera. I'll turn on the camera right now so that we can all oh, say hello. Go. <laughs> I scared myself. I was like, wait. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, welcome to the global launch stream for I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. <laughs> We're all um, nice and uh, comfortable here on the couch in beautiful Huntington Beach, California, the Spike Chun South <laughs> offices. And we've got our, our cutouts that are still here. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> we'll eventually... I may steal one. Okay. Well, <laughs> you just said that on camera. So that's you can't joke. prove anything until it actually happens. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, let's start with introductions. Let me switch over to uh, our presentation that we have. Ready to go here. I'll just turn that off. All right, so there everyone is along with their characters. I guess I'm not on here yet, so I'll introduce myself. <laughs> my, my name is Alex. I, I'm a localization producer at Spike Tunesoft, and I was the producer and English editor for I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Yeah. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I'm Stephen Fu. I voice uh, Ryuki in... Uh, in this game. <laughs> um, my name is Karina Becker and I voice Mizuki. I am Anaris Quinones and I'm the voice of Toma. Yay! Toma <laughs> <laughs> Toma. And um, as part of the launch uh, stream that we're doing, the global launch stream that we're doing, we um, actually had all of our guests here select their favorite scenes from the game. Mm -hmm. And before we start, I will be saying that while we will be showing clips from the game, all these clips are from pretty early on, and there will be no spoilers. So if you are concerned about that, don't worry. We're not going to spoil anything here. Um, but yeah, if you want to start uh, into this game completely fresh, then uh, we will be showing clips from the game, so just so you're aware of that. And let's, let's get started on it then. We're going to start with Karina's favorite scene. Yay! <laughs> Be careful, this really is it. I have to take a while to response. This is one of the very first scenes. Three o'clock, distance yeah. of 315 feet. The first scene in the middle you get row of see Iva and Mizuki working together, yep. which is why it's my favorite. <laughs> Who are you? For this game, there's all the cutscenes are mocap as opposed to first game. I did not yeah. know that. That's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Now, all of the animation is really well done. Yeah. Actual actors just doing all that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was. Karina's favorite scene. Yep. So you briefly mentioned it, but it was uh, your favorite because it's the first scene where you get to meet. It's the first scene where you get to see Mizuki as an older person and also working with Ivo together. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why it's my favorite. That's good. <laughs> I'm, I think that was probably, I mean, it must have been probably like the first day of recording. Yep. Too. It must have been. Literally first yeah. thing into recording, we're getting into it, we're reminding <laughs> ourselves what happened in the last game. <laughs> yeah. And then also me asking questions, so why am I here? And also, I was in my head now? Yeah. 
So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you'll have to find and play the game to find out. Why? Those questions will be answered if, you, <laughs> if you've played the first one and had no idea what was just going on in that cutscene. You will. Mm -hmm. You will if you play the game. So that was uh, Karina's favorite. Now, let's move over to... Who's next? I think it's actually Steven. My favorite! Yeah, favorite scene. <laughs> <laughs> let's watch this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Maris is in this one too. <laughs> so, I'm Tama, the director and camera operator. <laughs> I remember this. Now that I'm in the director's chair, I'm not going to tolerate shoddy acting. So keep that in mind. Not gonna tolerate shoddy acting. Are we recording acting. something? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Yes, we are. We're testing a theory here, so we need to create something that can be viewed objectively. I have no idea what you're going on about. <laughs> Check your stupid mouth, you third-rate bit part actor! It, Are you too much of a moron to the director having to tell you everything? Yeah. But... Just zip it and play the culprit. <laughs> We're saying. doing this. We're yeah. going for the Academy Award. See, Tom Academy? Like, the nuts? Very chill. Enough. Let's get this started! Fun, by the way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's <laughs> really good. Nailed Shit. it. <laughs> um... Hi, I'm, uh, the culprit who killed Jin. Now, prepare to witness an amazing show featuring this corpse. <sighs> Not only is your acting a but I don't even understand what kind of character you're trying to play here. I am an amateur. You're all the time. Okay. Let's start <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that was Steven's pick. Why was that your pick? Oh, well. <laughs> There's so much because you get to see the interaction between Ryuki and Tama, which is fantastic. I love, I love their, their, their relationship. And also, I, you got, we got to like do some really fun stuff. In this game, and that was, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I'll it's, just leave it at that because I don't want to ruin it. It's always it's always fun when the direction giving for a scene is like, okay, act but not good. Yeah, like act poorly. So basically, do, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and yeah, for for those those scenes, it was always really fun yeah. to to do the recreation scenes. Those are great. Super great. There were always like so many funny scenes with Tama and Ryuki. Like, <laughs> yeah. I remember the sessions with Courtney and you and you and it was like most of the time we were laughing because it was like <laughs> what is going on? Oh, she's cursing him out again or whatever. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. something every time. It was so fun. It was, yeah, it was great to, in those scenes you get like bossy director Tama mm -hmm. and then like she's so passionate I know she just she just wants the best from uh -huh. her actors and she doesn't tolerate yeah shoddy acting exactly it's, come on you, you gotta commit and then the, the, <laughs> you gotta commit you gotta, you gotta go for it yeah. and then their, their dynamic especially during those the, those scenes is like so different from the way that uh Mizuki and Aiba's scenes because they right. also have that that function for those who who aren't aware is called like virtual realities where a crime scene is being reenacted. So at a couple points during the game when you've collected pieces of evidence, the crime scene will be recreated virtually and the special agent will be responsible for going through the events that the uh, person of interest or the killer or whatever it happens to be uh, that they went through to kind of mimic their actions. So. It happens a couple times throughout the game, so if you like that, there will be more of it. But so yeah. much more. <laughs> <laughs> with with Aiba and Mizuki, it's such it's such a kinder relationship. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's, it's very much it's kinder. Like, it's it's more. You're doing great, sweetie. And it's, it's, yeah, that was that doesn't happen with Tama and Ryuki. So yeah, it's almost like a kind of like. Sundere kind of thing, but also not really. Yeah. Like sometimes it also feels like Yandere, where it's like, oh, <laughs> you know, if she could, she would strangle him. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. He <laughs> just needs a kick in the butt to get in here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It just needs just tough love. Yeah. The needs toughest. Needs motivation. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Got a thumbs up in the Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's> <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> All right.
right. <clears throat> so now we have an Eris's favorite. favorite scene. Yeah. Let's watch. So some some people will immediately know <laughs> just by the setting. They'll immediately know what scene this is. I wanted to ask you something. So it's it's so great when it's just one of the one of the first things that you can just click on. Hey Ryuki, see those lanterns? <laughs> You're not gonna do one of your stupid sex jokes again, are you? Really? You see them? Please don't make me participate in this. <laughs> Do you see them, Ryuki? Yes. <laughs> what are they? Lanterns. Lantern these nuts! <laughs> <laughs> this is the face! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I might have changed my read if I knew that was going to be the face. Like, oh, lanterns! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you 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 got it. There, I think there was you know exclamation point, and then on the scripts there was just multiple exclamation points. You had to stick that landing. Exactly. In. So why was that your favorite scene? Classic Tama. That is the most Tama scene ever. Because she's just she's just so extra, you know. Like, and she just she wants to mess with him, and like I think she, her whole thing is like, oh yeah, I'm messing with you, but I'm also trying to like not let things get too tense, you know, yeah. and and keep sure. you in check, keep you focused, um, brighten things up, and honestly, um, I guess that's something you see later on, like, even though their dynamic kind of almost comes off as like, oh wow, she's really aggressive and everything, <laughs> she's, she actually is really caring, I think, in yeah. those moments where she's like trying to find the, the, I guess, the fun. Yeah, know, just joking with him more. Yeah. It shows it shows that that side that's caring in a way, and then when you have those moments that are more tender, it hits even more because it's like, oh, she does care. Okay. Yeah. She just has a very unique way of showing. Yeah, it. yeah, that's fair. That that joke actually, uh, I mean, uh, it wasn't literally these nuts in Japanese. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Mimi, how do you say these nuts in Japanese? <laughs> Keeping in mind that it's not these. <laughs> it's D-E-E-Z. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, the, 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 original, the original joke was it, it was two different ways of, of saying the word lantern. I think it was mm-hmm. like lantern yeah. in Japanese and then lantern in Ainu, I think, like the Ainu language. Ah, gotcha. And it was, like, Tama, the joke is that Tama is trying to get him to combine those two pronunciations into one word and it sounds like it sounds like it's a dick joke it sounds like oh. it's some sort of yeah. <laughs> we had another another translation that we could have gone with yes we recorded we recorded that twice mm-hmm. and in in that in that fashion where it's just like what's the japanese word for this what's the i knew word for this yeah. what happens when you put them together and then mm-hmm. penis, uh, yeah. <laughs> know, yeah, and then, you know, and then the, the reaction, but I, that, it just wasn't playing very well because like, it's never fun when you have to explain the joke. So it seems like it wouldn't really make a lot of sense. I think it's fun to explain the joke, but that way I actually understand. <laughs> I don't understand a lot of jokes, okay? So... Fair enough. <laughs> process of like awkwardly explaining a joke you know yeah. especially with Tama because like she'll make jokes out of like the dumbest things yeah. yeah so just like explaining like oh yeah no it's this and it's that and it's like why did you say that Tama we didn't need to do this we didn't need to go through this <laughs> yeah the if you're if you're a fan of the first game and you're a fan of sex jokes and dirty humor <laughs> don't worry because the sequel has it as yeah. you just saw I was I was streaming it the other day and I yeah. said somehow this game became more and more unhinged than the first one. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. And yeah. It was progress. <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> that was sort of it was it's sort of like the the reversal of the dynamic between Iba Date. and Date from the first game where Date is the guy making the horny jokes and then Iba plays the straight man compared to that. Yeah. Whereas in this one it's more Tama doing those jokes and then Ryuki is reluctantly n- yeah not just, n- not even as much of like yeah not even as much of like the straight man in that scenario but yeah. even just being like 
Okay. Alright. All right. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Next next time I won't ask about any of the objects in this room. I'm just gonna talk to this person. <laughs> or we're just gonna, yeah, he's he's definitely sort of like along for the along for the ride. That's he like interacts with an object and he's like Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Mistake. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> no better. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. All right. So then the Final one is my pick. Yes. And this was taken, thank you, <laughs> by the way, to everyone who attended Anime Expo. This Great was picture. Talk, taken right out of panel. Mizuki, thumbs up. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. That's so great. <laughs> That's so great. <sighs> so, on my it feels scene, like I didn't pick a scene, a but festival. I picked something that I thought Although was really it cool, is only which February. is one of the bonus features that you can do in the game is dress up. And there are a whole bunch yes. of different this outfits that you can unlock you can for all the characters. Yeah. When <laughs> there are a whole lot of different outfits that you can unlock with the <laughs> And yes, they, they have, like, you can rotate, and they have poses and stuff like that, so it's almost like its own little mini dress up game. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it was really cool because not only is it just, you know, a it's great a mask bonus that makes you want to run a death game in any game, people. but there's also like a lot of work was put into a lot Are of these, uh, especially this one. Oh, that looks a little sus. <laughs> Great. Yes. You can have the hot dog with the shark hat on top of it to yes. look like the shark is eating, eating the hot dog. dog. Oh, and that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. That's my favorite part. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Because it, it shows so much this passion. Makes me feel like yeah. Summer is coming to an so, end. Yeah, it's really cool to see. It's yeah. I, I remember recording this. Yeah, and then each the each reactions. yeah each little each little outfit has its own line where the character will say and they'll like comment on it. And yeah, I just I think it's really cool, and I really liked the kimonos too. I think those are my favorite. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty, yeah. and they're just like so so detailed and so fun. And it's, it's fun to to because the, the way that it works not not only in game is the do you have that dress up sort of bonus mode where you can select what outfits to wear, but you can also then return to levels that you've previously yeah. played. And they will, you know, you can play through wearing that that outfit. So it's great if you ever wanted to, you know, see what a very serious moment or a potentially <laughs> yeah. traumatic moment for a character, and you know, something very serious is happening plot wise. And then I was just like off in the corner with a hot dog suit on. Yeah. You can live that. That you can see it happen. I it's want great. that. I need that in real life, where like I can replace <laughs> my traumatic memory with a hot dog. Just a hot, <laughs> a hot dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was. Uh, you know, maybe it's because the game was was released so so recently. So maybe next year at later cons, we'll, maybe we'll see some hot dog outfit with combined with Ibo or Tama. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. 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 no, I was. I, I need to see that and then come up to like my table and we will take pictures because that's amazing. <laughs> I was when we, when we were going when we were going through those um, like ideas for for the costumes and everything like that and they were showing the developers were showing kind of like mock-ups of which ones um, we liked. I remember thinking the you know the the kimono ones are going to be like so cool for cosplayers who like really want to do like an intricate detailed one and I think that one's gonna be really popular but it turns out it's just that hot dog suit just everyone wants <laughs> everyone wants that hot dog that's the that's the one that's the one that people are just losing their minds about Beauty and the simplicity yeah. of it all <laughs> yeah I guess, dogs. I guess that's what it is it's just <laughs> Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, beautiful And then with simplicity. the shark hat, it looks like it's eating it. The shark it's perfect. Eating the it's perfect. perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. The hot dog one and the t-shirt ones are free until next week in North America. That's right. Oh. So that those, um, as you just saw, the hot dog ones, and then there's also the t-shirt set ones, one of which is, is this outfit. Hey. Um, those are free DLC, and they will be free, as Mimi said. We're doing uh, three weeks, 
for after the launch of the game. So in America, your window is, is closing, but for Europe that just launched today, yay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you still have three weeks to get that free DLC. So yeah, if you've, if you've got the game already loaded up or you're gonna play it today, just, just download that DLC, it's free. And then you can, you can experience the hot dog. You can to download that DLC. <laughs> yeah, man, I really gotta get that DLC. I gotta get that DLC. Yeah. What we should have had was a tamale outfit. Oh my yeah. God. Oh man. Tamale. See, we, see, we did. Yeah. Even I even know. Eddie was like, yeah. <laughs> I saw that reaction. He was yeah, like, oh. Was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> There was, we, we did get to do, I think there is one voice line in the game. I think that's Tama 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 Tamale though. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. I, I, remember I think that. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. One big DLC. Yeah. We'll just <laughs> go with it. Yeah. We'll think of a, an eye of a pun that is an eyeball. Cause that would be, weird. although maybe a really big eyeball. I don't know. <laughs> Do not not eyeball. Eyeball. Like, it's just an eyeball. Eyeball's gone. <laughs> <laughs> just floating, yeah, floating just around. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll run it by the team. I'll yeah, run it by yeah. the team. Or, we'll or see the I got in her, in her little hamster version. But like a costume. Like a costume. <laughs> yes. Version. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you know, I was, I was at Anime Expo, like I said earlier, and I saw a lot of you know, Among Us cosplay, yeah. right? And those, mm -hmm. those big, um, space you know, big spacesuit space 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 style. Yeah. I feel like that could be converted. That'd be right. I feel Absolutely. like that could be converted to be, to be an Iva in yeah. her, in her little, little hamster form. Mm -hmm. Yes. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> All right. So that was our, our favorite scenes from the game. I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah. And now, we have a very special message. Uh, Erica couldn't be with us here today. She is in Florida at a convention, mm -hmm. but she did record a message for all of us. So let's watch that now. Hey guys, it's Erica Harlicker, the English voice of Iva in Iva Somni and Files 1 and 2 now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was so excited to hear that I got to come back as Iva for the sequel. Ah, and I'm so happy to see that you guys are enjoying it. Yay. Um, I love Iba so much, all of her puns and her love of bugs, even though their names are really hard to pronounce, um, but hopefully they came out okay, and uh, I hope you guys are having a lot of fun with it, and if you've beaten it already, I hope that you enjoyed the whole story. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support uh, to me and the other cast members and to everyone who worked on the game. Uh, we genuinely really like the project, so um, yeah, I'm just so happy to be a part of it, and I'll see you in whatever's next. Bye! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I love Erica. I love Erica. That's our, that's our Iba. Yeah. That's our Iba. <laughs> and now, the moment at least some of you have been waiting for. <laughs> we, do, we are giving away, as I said, um, this wonderful meme t-shirt. Yeah. We, we have a little fun. We do a little trolling. Um, but yeah, for, for everyone who's in the Twitch chat. So if you happen to be watching this on uh, you know, any other platform and you want a chance to win, you got to log in to Twitch. Hit up the Twitch chat. Hurry. So yeah, you better, you better hurry. <laughs> uh, Mimi's Mimi's working on it right now. <laughs> 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 so yeah, uh, thirty people will be selected to win. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Here, I'll give you a, another. We'll hold them up. I'll give you another another look at the shirts. Yay! They're right here. Yay! <laughs> With these shirts everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone is everyone excited? Okay, no, I don't know. I'm huh? really <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, I hope everybody's excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> we can't see the chat. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, heights and a lot of thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, spam those thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, for a thumb, yeah, thumbs up. I think the thumbs up emoji is pretty much the official emoji of my team at this point. It was amazing, think, yeah. amazing how that just spawned out of nowhere. Like it was so good. <laughs> I remember seeing it happen in real time. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I think as as soon as like Tuka's Uchikoshi like retweeted it, I think, and yeah. said, like, "Anyone know where this is from or like what this is?" <laughs> yeah. I mean, from from that point on, it was just like cemented, and, and like that's gonna be the reaction image to just everything. Yeah. It, it worked out so it's well. So beautiful. It's <laughs> so good. It's happy, happy Mizuki. Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy Mizuki. Okay. So we have okay. our winners. Ooh. Oh boy. Thirty lucky We have winners. our winners. <clears throat> I'm going to open this. Oh boy. Oh, it's a, lot. <laughs> it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. I'm not driving out of here. <laughs> all right. Let me make sure that every that all the things are visible. Okay. We're doing it low tech here. This is low tech. <laughs> I don't have a deck where I can just switch Sorry. between everything, right? <laughs> I'm running on a laptop here, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the winners. Woo! Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations, everyone. These were the 30 winners chosen at random from the Twitch chat. Um, congratulations to these winners. And you'll be uh, contacted by our Spike Chutsoft. Um, you'll be sent a message on your Twitch account to coordinate giving you all of the, um, yeah, all of the, the prizes getting sent to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! Let's go! Yay! Yeah. T-shirts! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Back, back to us for a quick second. <laughs> we are, we're getting a lot of comments about you. Oh yeah, <laughs> I yeah. got so this cool. um, last December. Um, cool? This game has meant a lot to me, um, and I, I like I love this game so much, and I love <laughs> Mizuki so much, and it it's been amazing that I've been able to be a part of it. Aww. And I also really like tattoos. So, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect mix. And also, this is an amazing design. Oh yeah. So really cool. I was so happy with that because I was I was planning on getting an Island Sonic Files tattoo anyway, and then the second one came out and like like they were like, You can announce that you're in it already. I'm like, cool, that's awesome. And then they were like, by the way, here's the logo. And I'm like, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad I waited. <laughs> to get this tattoo yeah because yeah <laughs> you, it's so intricate like you can't see it yeah, it's really cool. from but it's it's so detailed it's mm -hmm. amazing yeah. like i did good yeah yeah i did good okay so i know that some of you probably really wanted a t-shirt but you weren't selected as a winner but don't you worry don't you worry because check this out <laughs> bam check this out we are actually doing a giveaway on Twitter as well. So if you didn't get the chance to win on Twitch, mm -hmm. you still have a chance. We're going to be selecting 10 people from Twitter at random on July 15th. You have to retweet. Uh, the, the tweet should be up right about now, Mimi? No, it's uh, 510. Oh. 510. At 510. 510. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so keep an eye out for that tweet and then retweet it. Use the hashtag Eitzflovstrin. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful pronunciation. You, yeah. 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 <laughs> you will be uh, entered to win the t shirt. Sounds German. Is it German? Eitzflovstrin? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, perfect yeah. pronunciation. That's, yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. Happy yeah. That's fine. It's the worst instead of hot dogs. Yeah, the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so good. Oh, yeah, so um, that was all that we had planned for today's stream. <laughs> yeah, uh, congratulations to the winners, and thanks for everyone for tuning in. 
Um, we have a little bit of extra time. Uh, yeah. I mean, do you want to do like questions from the yeah, questions from the chat? Yeah, let's if you've got any, any questions for for any of us here, let's do a little Q and A for a little bit longer. My favorite color is purple. Let's oh. get that. Uh, let's get like the easy <laughs> ones out of the way. Okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, like favorite blue. color blue. Teal. Teal. That's blue. Blue. That's blue. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so don't ask us what our favorite Sorry. colors are. That's uh, off the table. I don't know how to become a voice actor. I'm just going to put right. that out there. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's I also... I kind of fell into this. <laughs> 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 I tripped into the booth and... <laughs> words just fell out of my mouth. It's like you were running out and you put the toast in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, I was putting the toast in my mouth going to school. <laughs> well, I, well, I mean, you know, we're already recording. Let's just say... It. You in there? <laughs> yes. Say you see the screen. Just say those words. Say words. Oh, okay. Yeah. Say it good. Say it good though. Yeah. You can't say it bad. Yeah. Right. And and the good and bad is very subjective. <laughs> oh yeah, we can show off. Yeah. Our game boxes. Ooh. Look at that. We have our our Pokemon starters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fire red. Uh, was it? Water blue? Water blue. Water blue. Water blue. It's more of a remake. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just going to call it water blue. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> the blue is Ocean blue. blue. Ocean blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. Yeah, going on. <laughs> so it is available now. Worldwide. 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 Crazy. Is that sale still going on for the Spike Tune Soft titles? Ooh, like 80%. Already. Oh, the, um, the, well, we have... The original game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, end it. Probably end it. Oh my God. Okay. Well, there we have <laughs> <laughs> There's no way sales. Yeah. That first game. Yeah. It's also on uh, Game Pass. That's right. Yeah. We've yeah. put it on Game Pass uh, recently too. So. Yeah. Some questions from the fans. Yeah. Uh, questions. Favorite side characters. I want to know. Oh, Kagami. Favorite, favorite side character? Yeah. Kagami. What? Who was that? Can you <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, we all remember his name. Um, <laughs> was it Komeji? I guess. Komeji. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's, yeah, so you you liked, uh, yeah, Kameji, Andy's Komeji the comedian. He yes. has a square, square head. It's square so head. weird. <laughs> Wow. Tama adores him. Like she just dies yeah, every that, time. That, that was another. Yeah, that was another. When we were picking favorite scenes, I remember another one of your suggestions was anything where Tama is laughing at his <laughs> comedy bits. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's great. Oh. You're a great laugher. Have a wonderful <laughs> laugh. Yeah. I was and like, if she finds this hilarious and she's extra, I have to do the most. <laughs> like, yeah. And laughing's the hardest part to do. It's hard. It no, like, like, well, it's genuine. Like, like, because crying on cue, and sad things are always sad. So if you're really good at like really imagine, uh, like, and have a good imagination, yeah. like yeah, crying really on cue is actually pretty easy. Laughing. Funny things are only funny once. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. What was your favorite side character? Oh, I liked, uh, he's a newer character, um, but he, I, I don't remember his name, but he's the one that wears the sunglasses and he's got that really stretchy voice. Ah, uh, yeah. The, de yeah, the detective. The detective. He's yeah. The, he's like, oh, he's, yeah. He's so weird. That he's so weird. He's, he's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> He really he stood out to me. me. Yeah. yeah, he was great. Yeah, we we wanted the like the classic. Uh, he actually sounds really similar to if you listen to the Japanese voice track and the English voice track, they're pretty close actually. Wow. But yeah, we wanted that that classic like you know yeah. noir detective. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. like, can tell you what's going on here. Like well, the like, cigarette you voice. You know? Yourself, he's like, I already know you. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. Already he's know who I am. He's, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, he knows things. He who works at the police headquarters. You know, it was like that type of guy. Yeah. And I, for for me, oh man, I should have been thinking instead of talking. I do that a lot. That's a mistake that I make pretty frequently. Um, I would say the receptionist probably. Oh yeah. Just yeah. 
Of course. <laughs> She's great. <good. laughs> because of her personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Her yeah. personality. Her personality. I like her personality. She has two big She's personalities. Got a big personality, <laughs> and it's just, it's it's in your face. That's the thing about her personality. It's like, mm-hmm. right there. Yeah, it's right there in front of you, and, you know, she doesn't hide it one bit. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I love her. She's great. It's good. It's good. Yeah. She's, the receptionist is. I so like good. that she calls herself a reptilian in the first game. Yeah, yeah. That was such a funny reptilian. Yeah, she's very loved. She's yeah. not a reptilian. She's vegetarian. She is great. That's amazing. <laughs> she's such a good character. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, yeah. Follow up. I forgot his name already. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that just happened in real life. Yep. R. P. To uh, yeah, Brad. Last question about Ruby's sexual orientation, but okay. we're not gonna get into no, that. No, we're not gonna get into that. Um, <laughs> that was that, 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 yeah. That's up for your interpretation. Not only is that open to interpretation, yeah. that yeah. would take like a three-hour deep <laughs> dive. <laughs> Is Uchi Koshi awake? Yeah. Yeah. If he's, I mean, may, he might be awake. We can give him a call. Like, like, hey, man, it's going to sound crazy. I'm on a live stream. Right? Yeah. We need help. Mimi, yeah, Mimi will translate. You tell her, and then she'll say. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a whole college course, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Credit hours. It's going to be like study, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> To go to older Mizuki in this one. The trick was to make her sound different so that she sounded older, but not so different that she sounded like a completely new person. Um, So it really had more. I believe we did have a uh, like we had a talk about this like you know before before you start like you know there there's a whole talk about like what's what the client wants of course for the voice, but then also um uh you you getting in your own two cents on how you think um that the character should be portrayed and so because we started with um uh let's let's do some vocal riff but i'm like but that's 12 year old mizuki and she's not that anymore yeah. um, and so starting point so it was a, yeah it was a starting point and so i i basically um mostly thought of Like, one of the things with Mizuki that when she's 12, or whenever I'm playing children, is that they might even say something where they seem certain in what they are saying, but they're truly not because they're children. Mm -hmm. And so for Mizuki as an 18-year-old, it was much more of having a definitive Mm. um, stance on everything because she is older. And that's kind of how I interpreted it in my mind. That makes sense. More more confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah she's already a quite like a mature and confident individual yeah. in the first one. Yeah. Like, yeah. She has the yeah, and the, the, the sassiness is still there. Yeah, the sassiness. The, the, the attitude <laughs> yeah. the attitude is still there. Yeah. I know a lot that was like a lot of people's favorite thing about the first game was Mizuki's attitude. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's still there in this one. <laughs> Fantastic, of course. Thank you. Yeah. It was interesting with the with Mizuki's English voice too, because in the the, the Japanese, yeah. um, even even uh, in in I I one to I two, so like eighteen year old Mizuki, there's very very little difference. Mm-hmm. But I think that was because in the the Japanese performance, the way that that VA um, performed that role, it was sort of neutral teenager. And like mm-hmm. age wise. So so then going into I2, Mizuki could have the same voice or almost an identical voice, and it would still you would still believe it coming out of coming out of that character's mouth. Yeah. But with with the English performance that you did, like I, I still get messages about it and I still read comments about it. Like, Mizuki from I1, that 12 year old Mizuki, is the most realistic portrayal of a 12 year old that like, a lot of people have ever seen. I sound like children. <laughs> I, oh, yeah. It was funny. 
is um, Allegra Clark who plays Boss. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, uh, apparently she walked in one day for, and this was back when we were recording I Won. Um, and and she overheard them listening to my recordings. Uh -huh. Mind you, we're really good friends. We're best friends. We like I I go to her house for Thanksgiving. I mean like um and so like but but she was like, What actual twelve year old did you get to play this wow. And they were like, That's Karina. That's just Karina. And then she was like, No, it's not. So, so like even even my friends who like really know me like, because it's not like, I don't change the pitch. Mm -hmm. I, um, yeah. for me, children are more sound like children in the way they talk rather than the pitch. And my, my pitch is already high pitched anyway, so that's, <laughs> um, but, um, uh, yeah, for me, it's more of the way they talk. And so, yeah, I asked her about it later and she was like, I honestly didn't recognize it. <laughs> and yeah. so I was like, cool, goals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a great compliment. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And. Mizuki is a, a little older, a little wiser, mm -hmm. and I too, <laughs> but still Mizuki. Yeah. <laughs> it's one more fun question. Sure, one, one more, one more question. Yeah, what would happen if, Ta if Tama and Date were to team up together? Oh my oh god. Oh man. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why they're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good I'm idea. Like, I'm like, imagine like Ryuki just being around that and I just... <laughs> He'd be so tired. They were done. They would Tama. enable each other. Yeah. Just... Too much. <laughs> Too much enabling. Yeah. It would be, yeah. <laughs> Nothing it's... would get done. Just, yeah. <laughs> and just an endless, an endless spiral. An Ouroboros of horny. Ouroboros of horny. Yeah. It would just, it would never stop. <laughs> never stop. Yeah. And it would be even funnier because Boss would probably encourage it because she would probably find the whole thing hilarious, you know. Whereas Pewter and, you know, Ryuki and yeah. Mizuki would just be, you know, like... Rolling her eyes. Kill me now. Why do you do <laughs> that? Murder to solve. Even, even <laughs> Naiba. Yeah. At some point, at some point, you know, Mizuki would probably say to Aiba, like, can you do something about it? Can you, like, hack... Into like Tom yeah. or something because you, you need gotta to shut her down. We need to shut it down. Shut We're reaching critical levels here. Yeah. It's gotta stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just think. Yeah. How about how about uh, one more question? Do we yeah, have? There's yeah. a lot of Ryuki fans. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Turn to Ryuki. Yeah, to Ryuki. Yeah. <laughs> I love Ryuki. Like, he, he is like a pure boy. He's like poor tortured man. Poor tortured, tortured, tortured man, and uh, he's just so wonderful. And like, and his interactions with everybody is like, he's like, uh, I don't want to say like, um, like a blank slate, but like, he's just he can get along with anybody. It seems like because mm. he's just so like. He wants to do a good job, you know, for justice. Yeah. For justice. <laughs> for Date. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Date. Oh, Mr. Date. Date. Yeah. <laughs> Ryuki, yeah. Ryuki is, uh, is a really interesting character, especially coming coming off of uh, Date from I1. Because, I mean, not just because there's, like, horny and then, like, less horny or lack of horny. Right. There are different, makes up for that. There are different yeah. aspects of the character, I swear. It isn't just that. <laughs> yes. so it's, there's more to Date than just that. <laughs> yeah. so, believe me. But it's... It, it's yes, there is. There's more to the character. That's how you describe all characters. Horny... <laughs> This, Semi -horny. like on a spectrum, yeah. like who's at the poles of, the aspect <laughs> of that spectrum? But with Ryuki, Ryuki is a, a more a completely different character because he plays, you know, like the you know the kohai character who just, yeah. who really wants to make a good impression on the job, yeah. and is you know he has like an eagerness to him, like a kind of you know he's a young gun, uh, and he's you know really excited to do well, and that's really fun in context of all of the seniors at Abyss and everyone giving, you know, giving Ryuki Our shit. Time, yeah. and, <laughs> and, you know, yeah, like playing with him and all that stuff. It's, it's great. Yeah. He's 
fantastic. It's, yeah, and you did a great job. Thank you. Everyone, no, the, the, everyone I've seen has been the writing makes super makes it super easy. So. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Every every review I've seen has been like, yeah, the the voice cast is just as good as the first one, or even better than yeah. the first one. It's, it's the voice, the the English dub is incredible. I see it like all over the place. So you guys killed it. They killed it, didn't they, chat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your reaction? Is it thumbs up? Thumbs up, Mizuki. Okay. They're like, this will make this will make sense in a couple seconds. I'm just holding my thumbs. Okay. Yeah. We got thumbs up. Okay. We got thumbs up. Okay. Cool. Great. Perfect. Awesome. All right. One thing from me. Oh, yeah. It's a very special day. A global like some known Nirvana initiative launch day. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> global launch day. Tomorrow is also a special day. Oh no. Alex's birthday. Oh, you're just what? Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Y'all need to spam him tomorrow. Yeah. 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 That'll yeah. be great. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, can we end the stream now? <laughs> Any more embarrassing things? Don't forget, you still have a chance to win these t-shirts on Twitter. Twitter. If you, It'll be posted we, soon. So the tweet, it will be posted soon on Spike Chunks mm. Twitter? Yeah. Hashtag okay, I and then you have to retweet it with hashtag A-I-T-S-F live stream. Hashtag A-I-T-S-F live stream. And congratulations again to all our winners. Congrats. All right. That's, that'll be it then. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, everyone. Yeah. We made all it right. out alive. We did it. <laughs> I'm turning it off. I'm stopping.